put that into True. perspective as well. They are known as one of the best defensive teams ever for a reason, but Defo. Yeah, this is going to be a hard one to get back into. Time obviously being an issue. They still have a wall <laughs> online, No, They've lost Nevera. As they attempt to walk on in and look at these side angles available playing around the back of yellow. I mean, this is looking like a clean round. Nats was still stuck on the site. Now the wall goes down, but it's going to be broken in just a moment. Oh. Halfway defused already. <laughs> Those rifles could be the difference maker. Quite a bit of early information for both teams. And actually, they're going straight under the tube. An early trade is decent, but it's definitely worked out better in this case for Liquid. Weapons, Redgar even going for the flank, but he'll be caught as well. But low HP, Defo didn't stand a chance. That is two to one. Team Liquid answering back to me. And with Yumpy already gone, a little bit more of an aggressive stance in this round. That is a great start, but... She said some benefits to Nats being the Sage, getting those benefit. They have put down some utility, and Nats is going to take a lot of damage. He'll, he'll be back. We're going to try the wall play. We saw this in the first round unsuccessfully. Oh, oh but this time, finding a lot more for their trouble. Goes down to just the one player, Shados. He's going to break the wall and take the kill. Running the clock all the way down and guaranteeing that round for Gambit, even after his demise. You know, that, oh, 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 Yumpy. Goodbye. That is a nasty shot, and it's the escapism. Useless, and they know where Link is, forcing him out of the corner with the fragment. A wonderful little cross, but the trades come back in thick and fast. As said, Scream's still here. And now, in a four versus two situation, this looks rough for Gambit. Uh, not the easiest. Left. Even getting out of here is going to be tough for Redguard. There's so many players up close, and it just turns into a fight. Scrambling to try and grab these kills. Shados will be left alone. They're pushing him one at a time. The opportunity is given. But Team Liquid close it out in the end. I think close. Oh. Early mid peak and then closing out that trade on the Ooh. off. That timing is so oh, good. Shados is still caught. Spike all right. If, if Link's just going to be that clean, they can just leave spots open all of the time. There was a chance that the double kill went back in the other direction as uh, I believe the drone was actually being utilized. Never mind, though. Chronicle in a matter of seconds just walked. They have no idea where any of these players are. There's even a res online for Link, but he's not going to get to use it. Taking the fight up against Chronicle and losing it. Now we come Stop down to just pit. Nevera inside his ultimate. <laughs> and yeah, that Viper's pit hasn't quite reached, but hold on, he's going to reposition. Getting right ahead of the ult. But Chronicle luckily is there to convert it and put a fourth on the board. Sight be completely ignored, but the rotations are coming in quickly. And all the ultimates committed here by Gambit. Lots of Hunter's Fury sewing it across either side. But Gumpy had an opportunity, doesn't quite connect, and they're just being ripped apart again. But not a bad break. Right. And then they lose it to a flawless round from Gambit. It's it's not ideal. Knife has actually cancelled a lot of these players, including Yumpy, who then cannot escape as Nats quickly decapitates him. The side is not Gambit's yet, though. Still a lot of players here to fall stake. They're still committing. They're still moving forward. Gambit are not deterred by hearing numbers. They just see free kills, free ult orbs, perhaps. But Link is still putting up a fight, taking at least the one down. The res will be attempted, but that's not great. The orb already going to tick away. Bunch of screams, health, and will be eliminated in the end, putting it down to the 1v2. Link still holding on. A wall in his possession, and the plan still has to be secured for Gambit. But it doesn't matter in the end with the headshot delivered. It is 6-3. to three. The most important thing is this utility setup on the site. Again, we're going to see it used to try and deny a plant. But the fights if you're on the defensive side or denying plants. Liquid been able to do neither. Make value from them and it's Scream getting aggressive on the Reina, but they're spotting it even though Liquid hasn't been going for this. Gambit are still being conscious and they've got an op watching for Link re-aggressing. Fine up, might kill off Nats, but I don't think it was timed quite well enough. Already over and he hasn't missed a beat. He hasn't missed a shot this entire game, I don't think. Ryan bringing it up earlier on the desk. Looks like we might have a second opportunity. We'll, we'll run it back, so to speak. 9-3 to three as we close Lear that avoids that aggression really finding anything. Somehow, Defo is still alive in the cover from Shados. That's from the opening duel. Another landed a quick shot from Defo, but quickly returned by Link, who's now left to fall back and try to heal himself up. His teammates falling around him, and again, we end up with the advantage in favor of the defense. Oh, oh, you lunatic! He's just gone up, rushing in towards the spawn. Uh -oh. Are they ready no. for this? Oh. oh, it actually worked out. I, I, obviously, the knife definitely didn't help, and now they know. Seconds left. Obviously, Link doesn't know that. They're ready for this fight now. This gets so much more difficult for Link. He comes so close, man. Look at the HP on Nets. 
it's frustrating to end up getting a rifle, but it's at the cost of Link not having one. And yeah, I kind of feel if that wasn't a stick for dinner. That drone is spotted a player up close and Chronicle almost gets away with a kill, but obviously the Spectre not quite dealing the damage that you'd want at that range. So the plan's going to be secured and Team Liquid should have an easy round. Yeah, and they're going to put themselves in a great position as well. Getting a lot of kills in the last brings a lot of ultimates very close to being online and even getting very close to a res for the next round if they desire it. Shados, he just wants to make this as costly as possible and hey, Jumpy going down a rope, he almost had Scream as well. But it's just going to be the one kill. So liquid finances will be some. Oh, snake bites actually bounced off the edge of the wall. So never mind. But Redgar still able to catch Link on the fade back screen went by bullets instead. Not quite a worthwhile trade off. Decent flash will leave one blind in the kills coming back from Soulcast. It leaves just one standing, but he's torn them apart. Four kills in this round that was looking like it was going to come towards the push out of Defo with no shields. He gets away with it. No kill, but Chronicle's doing a damn good job of holding down oh B. Still on this choke point around yellow is utility. That has actually allowed Solkus to sneak all the way through. And with a knife going out, he knows there's a player right up above him. Uh, it's the KO, but ooh. he'll be P from the side still. Getting away with one. Shados will get the jump on him to his pistol, and he's not even going to be given the chance. Nats with the repeat will close out this round and... This ludicrous as the Viper's Pit comes out of Nevera. The site will be secured, but screen goes down to even the numbers. Uh, it looks like a, a strong possibility of an afterplant. There is a res available for Link, but getting to Scream, I think it's going to be easier said. They're going to come down to this Viper's Pit. Can it be clear? Devil goes above, though. And that's Soulcast gone. Thankfully, though, Link's still within the pit alongside Nevera, and they are holding this one down. Incredible movement from Link there. He's going to get the flank in to close out this round. He's so quick. Through. Oh, I think it was a bit of an off position from Shados. Moves his crosshair and gets... I Nats has a res, so if they... There's quite a lot for them to work with in terms of util, and yeah. I think Gamut are realizing you're not winning this round. Even saving, though, is good. It's a liquid so far. They have been quite aggressive in the way that they played, but with Scream's ability to just stop this pushback into the site, and the fact that I feel like, again, the same for both teams, these aggressive plays really haven't been working. I, I liked the idea from the sort of bait and switch of Defo and Shados, but... Of course, time more worried. I mean, Gambit, three chances to close it out. Opening duel. Dangerous. <laughs> yeah, the drone has caught him up close. <laughs> oh, the, the cursed drone. Uh, there's a reason you're always going to see Sova play them. Same after plant again for Liquid and a Chronicle that there's a very good chances of victory, slim to none. They, they haven't been able to do it with rifles. I don't know why they think they can do it with a solo operator, but hey, he's already managed to get one kill. I, I guess he's tempted to go for it. Uh, they really don't have a lot of credits on the Gambit side. This is strange to see them committing to it. Shados has an opportunity converted. No. Oh, the shot from Chronicle on the money. Solkus not actually really having that much time on his side. The spray is closed. He's out of ammo. No. We already Shados gets it. It's done. Gambit have got the map 13 and 9 only if as you can see here the plants already come down Gambit with a typical B take they pop down the vault for getting them through the viper walls yeah they've set up for the retake a, a full retake strategy and there's still a flank coming in as well that could just catch that late luck player off guard it did Yumpy's already managed to take down his counterpart of Chronicle and they're winning every single fight on the way back into the site it's left all onto one man and this time Nats is not going to be the hero solid stuff from Liquid on that pistol retake sure a plant goes from very much used to playing against there were a lot of variables in there that no longer exist gambit Ooh. are comfortable and they found the opening duel here on the link the umpteenth time because it just seems to be his role within this team chronicle though has managed to find another navira's luck position might be able to delay the plant a little bit or at least make it more awkward never mind though he's been forced out of the corner by nat and killed off by chronicle who now has three kills make it four yeah he didn't even have armor going into this round to chronicle having that headhunter weapon because i think with a Sheriff in hand, he does a very similar job. It's just that he'll have the headhunter here, Lave, and Ace he has as well. His I mean, he has space here, though, might actually be a little bit difficult. They've managed to smoke left. off the angle, and well, Defo's just going to go running. Scream with the instant headshot, no surprises there, but there's a lot of targets still to find, and he's going to be able to get a second, at least making this one close, and Link just goes swinging through. 
trying to maybe waste some time, allow for the remainder to rotate. And there's only 15 seconds left on the clock. If they can catch this player, there's a very good opportunity down to the one versus one. And it's just going to be an open plant. Redgar just sticking it all the way through. But Soulcast will eventually swing and... The operator of Yumpy, we talked about his early aggression, and there you go. The opening duel will be his. To gamble their rotations at least a little bit more. Link low, but he's still going to catch another. At least keeping this one a little bit more even, and they're probably not going to expect Navira to be here, because why would he be here? The pit's still up. You think he'd just be sat within it, waiting for you to push. Instead, he's taken that space elsewhere. The flash for Shados at least grants him some space, but the time is gone, and now they just need to survive. Yep, carrying these weapons through becomes the primary objective, but as you can see, uh, boosting your economy, I guess, on that attack side. <gasps> oh, that's Ooh. an aggressive play by Scream. Yeah, who, who was saying that it's not going to be played as a duelist? That looked like a duelist to me. This is so aggressive. Fight in from Gambit. They found the entries they needed, though. Trading things out effectively, and Yumpy's probably just questioning, like, how, how is everyone already dead? The round's only been going for about 30 seconds, but my whole team is gone. Oh, this angle is ratty from Chronicle. The door left open and oh, it's a freebie. This man is already... The rotation coming in already from Team Liquid. They've read this play entirely. The Shock Dart Snake by Combo that eliminates Shados on the way through the Joe Point. That still is able to at least recover something. The Viper's Pit going down to try and retrieve that spike, but a tough task ahead of them. Defo will try to thin out the numbers of the defenders as they cross over to the site, but Nats has to hold strong. And they are rushing him down, running it to try and take him out of this round, already dealt with. And as you can see, Defo, he can't make it anywhere near Cave before that spike is diffused. Good round for Team Liquid. Relied on. Instead, though, it's going to be the other side that's being very aggressive. Yumpy this time will be able to catch one. And in fact, him and Scream have locked it down. The remaining two unable to get anywhere near this site. And the trades are in thick and fast from Liquid. It's left all on to Redgar with an operator. Mm. Um, 10 seconds like left. Okay, Viper's in a great spot. Yeah, Navira's got to have him. <gasps> oh, if he oh. hit that shot, he could have won Chronicle, as you said. So it's something you have to then consider that, yeah, you're, you're going to lose a lot of rounds that otherwise you would close out. Oh, dear. And Nats has just completely destroyed them, walked into a site, taken a double, the rest of the team joining him, and it's proving to be very easy indeed. Chronicle's mid flank has completely ruined them. And Gambit, look at Vera. Oh, he's revealed. He's under fury. He's pushed. Oh, still gets killed. Fair play. <laughs> All right. I don't. I. I don't know. Uh, he shouldn't have gotten away with that. Well played. And maybe a chance for Team Liquid if they can pick up another kill. In fact, with this plant going down, I see shock darts. Nats is already half HP. There's some opportunities here. They've done very well at killing off that flank and fly almost every single time. Nats, though, with the hold is turn things back into a 3v3 scenario. This battle means quite a lot, actually. Killing off leaves just the flank remaining. They may not know yet, but with that flash coming through from screen, they're going to know that both players are currently coming in from behind. They've tried to clear out that back corner. Successful onto one, but the trade from Shados is there once again, leaving it onto Scream! But he always seems to come through with those headshots. Gone for a very what? aggressive strategy, and you can see that pace was oh not expected. Well, yeah, th this is, I guess, the problem of not having a, such a dedicated mid hold is that sometimes a team can just run straight up mid. Mm -hmm. Most teams won't, but Gambit will. Yeah, Gambit normally wouldn't as well, <laughs> being that slow <laughs> defaulty team. Good shot when that's falling, and Redgar is being dropped. Okay, three versus three. Team Liquid have just been granted a miracle, but the numbers won't stay even for long. And look at this aggression out of Shados. Okay, maybe Sky is a duelist. I might just take that all back. 7-5 at the <laughs> half time. Gambit's attack. The B site from both angles. And the TP back over leaves just Viper, who's now being kind of pincered in. Players pushing from behind. Shados gets blinded. Inside of mid, though, you've still got quite a lot of resistance by Nazis. Covering off that cross, making sure they can't get over. And the fights from spawn go to Chronicle with the headhunter in hand. Really nice coverage by Gambit. I think he jumped over some of those bullets. <laughs> but <laughs> he can't escape. <laughs> In the form of a guardian for Redgar, which might be a nasty surprise. In fact, it is an easy kill onto Yumpy there. And now they're going to try and clear some of these closer angles. But the information has been given over to the other side. Redgar is enough of a problem by himself. And just wait. Oh, is that uh -oh. a shock dart going straight down? I think a little bit of... 
damage dealt. Redgar still alive on backside, dodging all kinds of utility. And Chronicle picks up one of the end. Look, and both the ropes, one is spotted, but the others are ready to peek up above. Defo, he, he was absolutely in control, and his fallback is even being covered. He's oh, just going to tuck in though. and wait for Chronicle to come in and assist, although Chronicle goes down after the one. And it's still a pretty beneficial still aggressive from gambit this is going to give an opportunity actually revealing Nats in towards the elbow but he makes the right call penciled out at least so they don't know that he's all the way to the back of the site just yet the drop down is spotted Solkus eliminated a second follow suit and now the spike is in Nats hands this round is done complete control for gambit 10 to 8 and liquid of foot wants to go back for more he is not done fighting there's already been a trade back and forth with one kill coming in and Scream able to make it a little bit better, but they still haven't cleared Shadow from the back line. And oh, that was the most awkward fight I think I've ever seen. Oh, look at this. Okay, we got a fancy other one. Thank you very much, production. 27 and 12. And look at this. 27 and 12. Like, there has been one round for Team Liquid. And other than that, it is a streak. It is hard playing this side of the map. Shados still lurking within. Did did he peek out of that? Or did he just, just headshot him straight through the screen? There's been trades back. Hunter's Fury trying to clear out those back lines. And while I was about to say looking like an off. See if they can bring it back. Solkus and Link, shock darts to play with for Link, but it's really the duels you've got to be winning, and Devo comes in quickly. Those ultimates that we spoke about starting out this map, Chronicle and Devo.